Welcome back to another video and welcome to today's second stimulus check update and stimulus package update. In today's video, I'm gonna give you the state of the stimulus. Today, it is Saturday, August 1st, so happy August. Now, as of right now, it is being reported, as of you watching this video, as it goes live, it is being reported that Nancy Pelosi, Charles Schumer, Steve Mnuchin, and Mark Meadows are all together in Nancy Pelosi's office on Capitol Hill negotiating the next stimulus package. It was also reported late last night that negotiations on Friday went better than previously expected and previous negotiations. However, they were still not going great. So, the meeting this morning is supposed to be a continuation of yesterday's progress. So, we will have to wait and see later on today what the progress actually is. Is it something we can stand behind? Are we getting closer to a second stimulus check, to unemployment extension, to an eviction ban extension? Is everything coming through soon? right because as you probably already know we have six days from today before the senate goes on recess for 31 days and we hear nothing until september 8th or later now in regards to the second stimulus check because i know that's what most people are here to get answers for so in regards to the second stimulus check what we know right now is both parties want to pass the additional stimulus check, that $1,200 second stimulus check that so many people have been wanting and praying for. So both parties are in agreement there. They want to get the payments out to the American people. However, Democrats and specifically Nancy Pelosi do not want to pass this in a smaller watered down bill. She says, let's just pass the HEROES Act. Now, let's address what the problem is in regards to the HEROES Act. Because a lot of people are wondering, why don't we just pass the HEROES Act? It's already there. People agree on it. Why don't we pass it? Well, here's the reason why. First off, Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, is completely against the HEROES Act. Completely against a $3 trillion stimulus package. And because of that, and he stated this on Friday, he stated this yesterday, that at least 15 to 20 GOP senators are against any COVID-19 relief whatsoever, making passing any bill very difficult. So it is not just the HEROES Act or the HEALS Act. It is any bill will be very difficult to pass unless Mitch McConnell can get Republicans to support a Democratic bill. Now, this is going to be very tough for him to do. Not only that, and this is the thing that scares me about this, about this statement. He said, making passing any bill very difficult. So the only way, because Republicans are not rallying and supporting Mitch McConnell and the HEALS Act, there are a handful, and he said between 15 to 20 GOP senators are not um, for another round of stimulus. So that just tells me, if he is trying to pass a Republican bill, it is not going to happen. Because even his, his, uh, his caucus are not going to, to uh, support this. That's an issue. That's a huge problem. So, one thing I want you to understand about the stimulus package, not just the second stimulus check, the unemployment extension, the funding for schools, state and local governments, liability protection, everything that is in the stimulus package, okay? But this is turning into a serious political game. Just yesterday, President Trump said, Democrats do not care about the people of our country. They're only looking to play a political game, which looks like that's what's happening. But that's also what's happening on the Republican side. So it's not just the Democrats playing a political game. We got the Republicans playing a political game as well. And both parties have stated this, that this is the way it has to be, being that we are just a few months away from election. If we would have passed something months ago, this wouldn't be the case. Now, I'm obviously paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what both parties have stated. So if that's the case, why in the world did we wait until August to try to pass the next stimulus package? 
in my mind, that just doesn't make sense. I get it. The Republicans want to do the wait and see approach, which now it looks like it backfired, which I told you guys months ago, it probably would. And what will end up happening is Republicans will have to settle for a Democratic bill, which looks like that's what they're going to have to do if and only if we want to see something pass, which we need something to pass in order for the economy to go back up. Because right now, every place I look is being hard hit. Now, I know I just read a quote from President Trump. However, yesterday, both parties did the exact same thing. All they did was issue insult after insult after insult to one another. Okay, so it's not just the Democrats that are insulting the Republicans. Republicans are insulting the Democrats. Republicans are even insulting Republicans. The only thing we know right now is it seems like the Democrats are all on their own side. But you got the Republicans fighting for one another, fighting against each other. And so we have no clue who to believe or where we should turn. Now, if you are as fed up as I am with Congress on what they're doing and playing this game with our livelihoods, comment down in the comment section below and let me know. What is the worst thing that you have heard or seen lately? What is it? Okay, I'm just curious because all across the country, we got senators doing their own thing. We got governors doing their own thing. We got mayors doing their own thing. Everybody is not connected at all. Now let's talk about the unemployment extension and unemployment in general. First off, the White House tried to pass a weekly unemployment extension. They actually tried to pass four different things. They offered four different options for an unemployment extension, and the Democrats turned them down and denied them on every single one. On the one for the weekly unemployment extension, Pelosi denied it, and when I say Pelosi, I'm talking about Nancy Pelosi, denied it, stating, "We, what are we going to do in a week? Okay, this has me worried. So why am, exactly am I worried? Well, here's the reason why. First off, if people are getting less money, this, the hard part is a lot of people were getting that $600 per week uh, unemployment boost, but now it is cut off. It's, it's expired. It's gone. Nowhere to be found now. So here's the problem. If people have less money, that means there's going to be more defaults, both on cars, credit cards, loans, you know, what have you. Evictions are going to skyrocket. There again is no eviction extension. Okay, no federal eviction extension. Some states, I know for Washington State, for example, we do have uh, an eviction ban uh, that has been extended. So in Washington State, you don't have to worry about being evicted. However, at some point, you have to give your landlord the rent that's due. And that's gonna be a problem. Most people live paycheck to paycheck. When I say most people, I believe the study state, it's over 50% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. So because of that, there's no way they will ever be able to catch up with their back rent. Also, homelessness will be on the rise. There's gonna be families that have no food to eat, to survive. Health issues are going to skyrocket. People will not be able to afford their medications. I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning social security and all you people on social security, I feel your pain, I seriously do. I have a bunch of family members that do get social security and they're telling me the exact same things. Medication is not getting any cheaper. Food is not getting any cheaper. They still have their expenses they have to pay and their social security benefit is only so much. So because of that, they are struggling greatly. As of right now, what the, the Senate is trying to do, is, or specifically Congress, not just the Senate, they're trying to pass a stimulus package that works for everybody. The problem is it's going to be very difficult to make every single person happy where this bill actually passes. The only way it would work is like I stated earlier, Mitch McConnell would need to get Republicans to support a Democratic bill, specifically the HEROES Act, which is going to be almost impossible, mainly because the bill is too expensive for Republicans. And it is believed that most Republicans 
do not want to spend even the one trillion dollars however mitch mcconnell was able to get the majority of republicans to rally around him and support the heels act here's the other problem mitch mcconnell is the one that brings a bill to vote okay brings the senate to vote on a bill so if he doesn't bring the heroes act in and ask the senate to vote on this they will not vote on it and i believe just doing some little research the only way for them to be able to vote on it without him is to replace him which based on my research nobody has ever been replaced okay as the the senate majority leader so is this going to be the first who knows now let's get to some even more bad news sorry about the bad news today there's just not a lot of great news however i'm hoping that later today will be a much better video more you know sunshine more happy smiles you know and rainbows and you know unicorns and all that great stuff but as of right now let's get into covid 19 news for saturday right first off yesterday florida set a new record for covid 19 deaths uh just for uh friday that was the fourth straight day in a row that they set a new record friday alone they received 257 deaths just on Friday. On Thursday, which was their previous record, they received or they got 253 deaths just on Thursday. That accounts to 510 deaths in just two days from Florida alone. That's a problem. Here's another problem. As of earlier this morning, Hurricane Isaiah could also hit the East Coast sometime today, the East Coast of Florida and also North Carolina, some other eastern eastern coast states, okay? So my warning to anybody in Florida, just stay safe. I get it, it's, it's a warning on top of a pandemic. It is a crazy time, but do yourself a favor. Stay safe, stay locked in your home if you can, board up windows, whatever you have to do to stay safe and stay alive. Now, in other COVID-19 news, uh, the other day, on the first day of school, uh, Indiana student tested positive for COVID-19. I believe he was a student in a middle school, um, and this is one of the one of a parent's uh, biggest fears: is our schools really protecting their children the right way? So this is going to be a problem, and this is going to be every parent's fear as schools attempt to reopen safely. Is are there any students out there that are? positive for COVID-19. I know for me personally, I have two kids that are in school, one who is not even one years old, and that is my biggest fear. I would not want my kids to become uh, positive for COVID-19 because obviously there's no vaccine yet. So that's all I got for you guys today. I know it was a lot of bad news, but again, I just want to keep you updated with the facts what's going on. Hopefully today we have more updates in regards to the second stimulus check and the entire stimulus package. I know the past week I've primarily been focused on the second stimulus check, unemployment, even hazard pay. Okay, And the purpose behind that is because that is what everybody has been focused on, has been talking about, and you guys have been wanting more information on. So that's what I'm going to give you. All the facts, everything that I can dig up all the research just for just for the research I did in this video I know the video wasn't very long there wasn't a whole lot there however it took hours and hours to do so if you have any questions regarding the second stimulus check please let me know down in the comment section below also if you want to make money from home I'm going to link to a couple different videos that I've done recently to show you how to make money from home using the power of the internet. So if you have questions there, just come on back and ask your questions down in the comment section below and I'll answer you as quickly as possible. So thank you for watching this second stimulus check update and stimulus package update. If there's anything else I can do for you, again, please ask down in the comment section below. Do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys on the next one.